How do you solve age problems like this one? We're going to break it down into steps in this new series. That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, like I said in the intro kanina, we are going to talk about age problems. And ito na yung pinaka-comprehensive na series ko on this topic. Hopefully, matulungan kayo para sa inyong susunod na exam. I am actually not feeling that well today. And uh, medyo mas mapakaramdam ko, pero... I want to make it a point na magagawa ko ito para sa mga mag exam na malapit na yung exam nila. So, ito yung part 1 ng series na ito. And again, if you uh, haven't um, been good with your fundamentals, mas maganda if mababalikan nyo sila. So, I'll be popping up links dito sa taas for this particular topic para sa inyo uh, para makapag-catch up kayo. So, ito yung part 1. We're going to talk about understanding sentences and what that means. And before we jump into that, just a quick little plug. If you're interested to get the reviewers that I made, join the online or live review events. You can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlika for more information. And ito yung ating uh, trying hard na hoodie. Meron tayong shirt, meron tayong caps, meron tayong merch shop sa shop.teamlika.com. All the links are in the description box din sa baba. Okay? And now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to jump right into it. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, ito yung part 1 ng ating comprehensive series on age problems. We're going to talk about understanding sentences. Basically, kung anong ibig sabihin if, say, a person is older than this person, a person is 4 times as old as this person, at paano sila nagko-convert into an equation, or paano mo sila maiintindihan enough so you can draw your table. I already have older videos on age problems, pero hindi ko siya nahimay ng ganito ka-sinsin, and that is the reason why I'm making this series. Hopefully, after this entire series na mapanood ninyo ay maintindihan nyo na siya ng mas maigi. Now, first problem na na-encounter natin when we encounter a problem like this is kung gaano siya ka-complicated pakinggan. So, sabi si T is 4 years older than Teddy. If City's age in 12 years is twice Teddy's current age, how old is City now? So, ang dami masyadong factors na nagka-come into play. And hindi natin sila masyadong maintindihan agad kasi nga ang daming nangyayari. So, kailangan natin siyang himayin. Isa-isay natin sila. Now, ang first step doon is breaking it down into smaller pieces. So, the first thing that you have to take note of is this statement right here. Sabi, City is 4 years older than Teddy. So, kung ito munang statement na yan ang hihimayin natin, yan munang pag-uusapan natin, anong ibig sabihin yan? And a lot of people have trouble with finding out kung sino ba talaga ang mas matanda, sino ang ilalagyan, lalagyan ko ng plus 4, ima minus 4 ko ba yan, ano ang gagawin ko? So, anong gagawin natin? Tingnan muna natin yung sentence. Sabi, City is 4 years older than Teddy. Now, the best thing about us being bilingual as Filipinos is pwede mo itong Tagalogin or translate into your heart language. Mag-sabi natin heart language, ibig sabihin yung first language ninyo. Ano ang language na una ninyong natutunan. And pag nagawa mo yun, mas maiintindihan mo yung problem. For example, sabi dito, City is 4 years older than Teddy. Sa Tagalog, si City daw ay apat na taong mas matanda kesa kay Teddy. Kasi ang first question is, sino ba talaga ang mas matanda? Si City o si Teddy? Now again, yung age daw ni City ay 4 years na ma mas matanda kaysa kay Teddy. Sinong older? Ang older is si City. Okay? City is older. Kasi 4 years nga siyang mas matanda eh, kaysa kay Teddy. So, ibig sabihin nun, kung si Teddy ang ex sa problem na ito, para malaman natin yung age ni City... That would be, yung age ni City ay 4 years na mas matanda kaysa kay Teddy. Okay? At in this case, dahil siya ang X, that would be 4 plus X. So, yung age ni City is 4 plus X. Doon mo lalagay yung 4 sa side ni Teddy. Now, how can you break it down pa to make sure na tama yung pagkakasulat mo? Pwede mong isipin yung sitwasyon mo or mag-invento ka ng mga tao at yung kanilang actual age. For example, ako, I'm actually 3 years na mas matanda kaysa sa bunso namin. So, ipag sinabi natin na kaya Laika is 3 years older than Jana. Okay, anong ibig sabihin yan? Yung edad ko, 
Okay? Ngayon, ay 3 plus yung edad ni Jana. Now, bakit dito ko idadagdagan sa kay Jana? Kasi nga siya yung mas bata. Okay? Kasi yung edad ko, dahil ako ay mas matanda, ay 3 plus yung edad niya. Kasi kung dito ko dadagdag kay Laika yung plus 3, okay, hindi na totoo yung statement. Kasi kung edad ko ay dadagdagan ko pa ng tatlo, mas matanda na si Jana sa akin, di ba? Kasi, ano, magiging age ko plus 3 pa. Eh, currently, mas matanda na nga ako sa kanya eh. Nadagdagan ko pa ng tatlo. Di, di hamak na mas matanda pa yung age na yon kaysa sa kanya. So, again, very important na skill yung tagalugin or tagalize yung mga statements para mas maintindihan nyo siya at mas matranslate mo siya into an equation. Again, ask yourself, sino ba talaga mas matanda? Kasi yun yung magdedetermine kung sino ang imumultiply mo, sino ang i-add mo, sino ang isusubtractan mo na age. Okay? Now, let's try this quick quiz. Okay? I'm going to give you five statements and I'm going to give you time para intindihin silang maigi at isulat yung uh, equation. So, parang kanina, di ba, city is equal to 4 plus x with x being yung age ni Teddy. Now, paano mo siya maisusulat? Paano mo siya hihimayin? And I'm going to give you a, a few minutes for this. Medyo matagal-tagal para ma-dissect yung maigi. Isulat nyo lang lahat and then we'll solve it together after. Okay? So, if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now. Okay, let's see how you did. So again, we have five statements here. Yung mga nakapula, sila yung mga X in this situation. Okay? Para lang hindi naman kailangan isulat ng buo yung mga pangalan or kung ano yung kanilang uh, relationship, no? So yun yung gagawin nating mga X. Now, isa-isahin muna natin sila. Sabi doon sa number one, PJ is four times as old as his son. So sa Tagalog, si PJ daw, ang edad niya ay four times nung kanyang son. Again, sinong masotanda? Siyempre si PJ. 
Kasi siya yung father eh, no? Alam ka namang mas matanda yung son kesa sa father. So, ibig sabihin nun, ang age ni PJ is, and again, with our equation construction, ang ibig sabihin ng is ay equal, four times nung edad ng kanyang son. Okay? Or PJ is equal to 4X. Yung age ni PJ ay 4X. Kasi yung X is yung edad ng kanyang son. Now, again, kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yung aking video on equation construction, ililink ko na lang din siya dito sa taas para makapag-catch up kayo. Marami dun sa mga diniscuss ko dun ang importante sa, sa lesson na ito. Kung hindi nyo pa yung napapanood, panoorin nyo muna. Okay? Next, ili-level up natin. Sabi, Peter's age is half Donna's age. Okay? So, age daw ni Peter ay kalahati ng age ni Donna. Okay? So, age ni Peter is, so again, equal lang ibig sabihin yan. Half, ang half is one half. So, one half of Donna's age, which is our X. So, Peter's age is equal to one half X. With Donna's age being X. Okay? Now, again, if we're solving using equation, ito yung mga fundamentals niyan. And we'll do that, yung table nun, in the next video. So, um, just make sure na mapanood nyo rin yung part 2. This is just part 1. Again, Peter, yung age ni Peter is half of Donna's age, which is X. Okay? Now, pwede mo rin to isulat. Pareho lang yan sa X over 2. This is basically, minultiply ko na kasi sila. Okay? And when we're multiplying fractions, ang gagawin mo lang yung nasa tapat, multiply mo lang siya. So, 1 times X is X, 2 times 1 is 2. Paano naging over 1 to? Kasi any number is over 1 din siya. Hindi lang natin sinusulat itong part na ito. Kung hindi nyo pa naiintindihan yung multiplication of fractions, this is not the best lesson for you. Kasi you have to go back to your fundamentals para masolve nyo siya using yung equation natin. So, if you haven't seen my fraction series, ililink ko na lang din sa taas. Okay? Now, dito tayo sa number 3. Karen is 23 years younger than Jackie. This is trickier than the other one kasi kanina older lang eh. Now, pag sinabi natin 20 years, 23 years younger, tagalugin natin, si Karen daw, okay, is 23 years younger than Jackie. So, sinong mas matanda sa kanila? Who is older? Ang mas matanda would be Jackie. Bakit? Kasi nga si Karen ay younger kesa kay Jackie. So, ibig sabihin yung edad ni Jackie, yun ang babawasan ko ng 23 para lumabas yung edad ni Karen. Okay? Again, using yung aking, equation, yung aking um, example kanina, which is Jana. Si Jana kasi is 3 years younger than me. Okay? Para makuha ko yung edad ni Jana, kukunin ko yung edad ko she will be X. Babawasan ko siya ng 3. Ito yung magiging edad ni Jana. Okay? Kasi, lagi siyang mas bata sa akin. Ganon din yung idea dito. Now, a common mistake, okay, dito sa tanong na to, again, and this is wrong, ha, um, ang mali na pagkakasulad dyan would be either si yung edad ni Karen, yun ang babawasan ng 23, tapos yung edad ni Jackie. Yung iba, mali din ito, ha, ginagawa nila is, yung edad ni Karen is equal to 23 minus X, Okay? This is also wrong kasi sa subtraction, very important yung placement, kung alin ang nauuna at ang nahuhuli. Okay? Pag ganito yung pagkakasulat mo, mali yung magiging sagot. So again, very important to think of it this way. Okay? Bakit? Kasi yung edad ni Jackie, pag binawasan ko ng 23, lalabas yung edad ni Karen. Okay? Number four, the grandmother's age is 10 more than five times the granddaughter's age. Okay? Now, Mukhang komplikado. Hihimayin lang natin again using yung ating concept ng equation construction. Yung grandmother's age, so, grandmother's age is, so again, equal siya, 10 more than. Ang more than means addition. Kasi, sampo, higit pa kaysa dun sa 5 times. Ang 5 times is 5 times nung granddaughter's age. Okay? So, ibig sabihin nun, Yung edad ng grandmother is equal to 10 plus, and then again, dahil yung x natin na ngayon ay yung age ng granddaughter, that would be 5x. Okay? Ngayon yung pagkakasulat niyan. Now, an alternate way of writing this would be yung age ni grandmother is equal to 5x plus 10. Pwede mo rin siyang isulat na ganyan. Bakit? Kasi whether unahin mo yung 10 sa 5x, O unahin mo yung 5x sa 10, wala namang magbabago dun sa magiging sagot. 
pareho lang din yan. Okay, so whether sinulat nyo yung ganyan o ganyan, pareho namang tama yan. Now, an, an example would be this, no? Kunyari, 10 plus, kunyari lang ha, 5 times 5. This is 10, and using PEMDAS, 10 plus 25. This is equal to 35. Now, kahit isulat ko siya na 5 times 5, yung quantity na yan, plus 10, 25 plus 10, pareho lang naman na 35 ang lalabas. Okay? The only time na importante yung placement ay sa subtraction at division kasi pag ano yung nauuna at nahuhuli, it will turn yung answer ninyo completely wrong. Number five, the sum of the ages of Pete and Quinn is 63. Now, anong implication nito? Okay, ang sabi natin yung sum down ng ages nila Pete at Quinn, ibig sabihin ng sum, ibig sabihin yung pinag-add mo sila, is equal to 63. So, ganyan yan. Pero dahil lang edad ni Quinn is our x sa problem na ito, gagawin natin yung age ni Pete plus x is equal to 63. So, ang hinahanap lang natin na edad ni Pete, okay, kailangan natin siyang iwan sa isang side. So, P is equal to, itatranspose natin yung plus x, nilipat natin sa kabila. At pag nilipat mo siya sa kabila, magiging minus siya. So, that would be 63 minus x. So, si Pete ay 63 minus x. Alright, I hope you got that right. If you didn't, that's okay. I'll be posting more examples on my Instagram account. So, if you don't follow me yet, follow me at Like a Maravilla for yung quick quiz function natin. Sa Instagram story, you can see yung mga multiple choice questions at pwede kayo mag-participate dun to find out if you get it right. It's a great way then for me to know kung ano lessons yung kailangan ko pa nagawin in the future. And I hope sa susunod na mag-post ako na each problem ay magiging tama kayo. Okay? Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends, lalo na kung mag exam din sila. That way, mas marami tayong matulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers, the stuff that I made, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika for more information. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit that bell. Part 2, we're going to talk about creating tables. Yun ang ating uh, next na lesson sa series na ito, leading up dun sa ating culmination. And uh, I'll be making more on this topic para lang uh, solid na yung understanding ninyo. Kasi ang age problems talaga hindi kaya sa isang video lang yan. Kasi may iwan yung mga hindi solid dito sa steps na ito. And part 2 is coming up really soon. So kung ayaw nyo yung mamiss, subscribe and hit that bell para malaman ninyo kapag ready na siya. Okay? Thanks guys for watching. And as we always say sa team na ito, lahat tayo trying hard, never stop learning. Adja, adja. Kaya niyan. I'll see you in the next video. And bye for now.